one of my favorite things to do when I see people comment, like if I see someone comment a long thing on one of my videos that's in defense yeah. of an MLM, I, I'll read the first line and then I'll just delete it. Dude, this guy's Jordan Peterson. I'm like, bro, you wrote a novel. I can't do it. And he kept going. I'm like, yeah. I have to say, like, I'm not reading this. Like, I can't. I can't. Like, I, my job is reading. I can't read your arguments on why, like, I need to respect Jordan Peterson or whatever the fuck it is. It's crazy. But yeah, some people are yeah. realistic. They can't let it go. You can't make everyone happy, especially the people that are at these extremes. No, I can't. And, I can't. Yeah, like, the, the, and they're, they're at the extremes and, like, no, literally nobody will ever make them happy. Like, oh, like they are only, they have to go in and, I mean, I hate to say meditation again, but, like, they need to do some mental health problems. For sure. Go to they, therapy. It does seem like they're depressed. Yeah. Go to therapy. I went to therapy depressed. last year, starting last year, and I finally read this book that was gifted to me by one of my yoga teachers called Nonviolent Communication. Those oh, two God, things together really changed my life, bro. Nonviolent communication. Do you know about How? it? Dude, I'm a me- this is pathetic. I'm a meditation coach. I'm buying it right now. How do I not have this? Oh, is exactly bro, what it'll change it'll bro. change your life. It'll change your life. Uh wait, wait, wait. What is it? Nonviolent communication. Yeah, this by is Marshall what I, Rosenberg. It's so tight. That's such a tight title, man. It'll it, you'll literally cry listening to it because you'll realize, oh wow, I never learned how to communicate. It's so true, dude. So it's so true. Anyways, let me just explain myself a bit here. Yeah, At the me. end of 2019, near the end, or about, I guess halfway through 2009, that's the book right there. Sick, yeah. In 2019, at the beginning of the year, I was just live streaming with my friend Philip, who had a YouTube channel, and that's what I was doing. We were just live streaming and whatever. Then he moved away to BC, Vancouver, and I then started doing my own YouTube videos. My fourth YouTube video ever was a pyramid scheme video, WFG, whatever. It yep. sort of did well. It got me monetized right away, blah, blah, blah. So I did another one. After that, I didn't do another pyramid scheme video for 11 more months. I never put one out because I didn't want to pigeonhole myself. And I would rather the slow, steady growth and be known for all the things I wanted to be known for than mm-hmm. just that one thing. I started doing stand up. I was I was doing that for like months, really getting into it. And then COVID happened. So there was no more stand up shows. I had no more opportunity to film the videos that was like me going to these group gatherings and stuff like that. So I said, okay, the pyramid scheme videos is something I can make from the comfort of my own home. So let me just focus on this for the for the, you know, in the meantime. And the yeah. meantime turned out to be like a full year because, you know, COVID. Yeah. The, because COVID. And so Fortunately and unfortunately, I looked at it like this. Okay, if the videos do well, which they did, I'll build up a whole bunch of subscribers. After that, I'll pivot and say, "Hey, this was only a temporary plan, and I've I've not even I've not even said anything otherwise. I've said along the way on my live streams, this is never the long-term play. I've wanted to do make music, do comedy, make funny videos and just have fun, and that's what I want to do. My yeah. live stream, I never talk about pyramid schemes on my live stream really ever we're what we're like it's so fun it's good it's, it's great, fun great we just have fun and laugh and watch darman videos and like i have green screen scenes and like we just do bits right yeah um and so uh i said you know what let's say i build up my audience to like 100k subs and then i lost even half of that by pivoting i would be okay with that because that means i like i started 2021 with um i think 20k or 25k subs yeah. now i have almost 60k a year later Wow. And, um, you know, I'm happy to lose 10 K take 10 K you're the, because, you're, dude, you're real. You're real. Like, the because I, like, I mean, look, if I keep you going, gotta always the, be Marco. If, if yeah, exactly. If I keep mm-hmm. doing the MLM thing, yeah, sure. I'll get views. Sure. I'll make more money, but that's not actually really doing anything to help my long-term goal. Like there's no shortcut is all I'm saying. Like you yeah. could be, you could, and we've seen it with big celebrities before. Just because Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan at basketball, you don't get to just switch to baseball and still be Michael Jordan. Yeah. You got to put in the work from day zero the same way. There's no, there's no shortcut. There's no work around. There's yeah. no shortcut. And so I'm like, you know what? I was, I'm grateful that I was able to like pay off my debt. Wow. Um, I was so able the to, channel uh, makes money, like live channel streaming. makes money, like live streaming. Week. Yes. I, I, I was Amazing. able to make some money, pay off my debt. I was able to like upgrade my setup. So I have like a good camera, everything tight, like that. Da, 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 okay. da, da. I like, I'm okay taking a pay cut if it means like doing what I want to do. Cause when I started YouTube and I was struggling and broke and every month I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll go homeless this month. Like 
I still enjoyed myself more than when I was just being bombarded with messages about pyramid schemes and making right? a, good, a good amount of money. Honestly, Your day is fighting. Your day is fighting. It's not healthy. You know? Yeah, you no, know, that too. That too. And like, I don't know, dude. I it's it's nice to have people recognize me out in public or whatever and say, hey, I saw your video about whatever. But what I really want to hear is, hey man, I heard you, I heard your song. That shit was fire. Or I saw your video, that shit was hilarious. Or I saw you perform stand-up last night at the thing. I, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like like the the anti-MLM, it, it's such a like I, I want to honor them for like the great work they're doing. Like they're doing great. By yeah. doing it like you you did great and they did great and like it's got to be sought but it is such a lost cause too like nobody gives a shit man it's like they don't get it and there's a <sighs> there's people doing it and they make the home documentaries and i feel like that's good and it's like sorry but yeah it's it's a lot it is because you are even as i'm editing so many videos i just have sitting in like ed editor that's like an attack on someone and even as i'm doing it i'm like i'm like i don't even know like i don't even know if if this person is so evil or like, 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 or, or if it, 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 it's, it just seems like a lot. It takes a long time to do it. Research has to be tight, obviously, but it is also like, and then you see all these YouTubers just with like heavy mental health issues too. So, well, so yeah. yeah. All, time I think is powerful. And yes, dude. Julia for that. That's that really, I, I see that. I, I like, I love, I, I do have his influence on me too, man. He's so tight. Dude. Podcast. He, here's yeah i love his podcast he's um, so tight like you're, so you're spot on you're spot on and here's the other thing like the the sort of senselessness with the anti-mlm content is a there's a ton of other people doing it out there yeah yeah way more frequently and consistently than i am i've already put out all the information like every one of my videos i make the same points if you don't get it by now sorry i can't help you and also you can't help them they want to go <laughs> yeah and and also I'm, I'm, this is me being self full, not selfish. This is me being self full here. Let's say that we were actually successful. We being the anti MLM crowd. Let's say that we were actually successful in getting the anti MLM industry completely abolished, but we've built our entire platforms off of that content. Now what? Yeah. Now you've just put yourself out of a job effectively, which is also, I mean, that's a great defense for people who say that anti-MLM creators are just trying to slander people to make money. I mean, they're, they're fighting in pursuit of something that seeks to make themselves unemployed. So that's obviously a moot yeah, point. That's true. But that is a moot point, yeah. I, I want to make money, okay? Yeah. And I want to be known for what I want to be known for. Yeah. So yeah, I don't no, know, man. Yeah. Like, like, it's almost like that's your public service karmas. But then your your proper karmas are like doing the songs, doing like the silly goose time. It's it's a great show, dude. And now you know what? I've got to do my meditation live. I've been doing it twice a week. It's gotten tight. It's gotten like up to the tightness that I need. I have sketches made, and I can repeat some. I can just do new sketches every. I think I can even get to the point where I do new sketches every week. But like, yeah, I just got to go live. That's it. We are here to yes. create like some. There's a beautiful creation calling inside of us to be to be let out yes and that's what we have to do it just can't be done like that you know and and here's the other thing i want to say too amish which is what i which is really the driving force behind like my um mobilizing and and deciding to like change and like i made a community post the other day on youtube where i said like hey guys just so you know i have no anti-mlm content planned for 2022 i saw that um so if you're only here for that, like, please do me a favor and unsubscribe. Like, it's no beef, but like, I learned it. I've learned it's most important to follow my passions from now on. And that's what I'm going to do. Dude, I lost, I've lost like almost 700 subscribers in since then. I'm so happy. I'm so happy about it. Get rid of them. It's so smart. Because, it's so smart. Because, because now, like, let's say I even lost 8,000 more and I was down to 50K even. That's wow. way more people than I started with back in 2016 when me Incredible. and Philip were trying to like figure out how to get our music heard. And by getting rid of all those MLM subscribers, now my click-through rate is going to be better. And I'm yeah. going to start over the course of this next year, I'm going to start getting rid of the MLM followers and gaining people who actually like my other stuff. And the, and the main is product be is so good. The main product is three live streams a week at Always Marco. Three live streams a week, daily clips on my clips channel from the archive of live streams and the present live streams. I have wow. a whole bunch of like funny videos that I'm editing right now that are going to come out. Music, like, yeah. Uh, but here's right, the thing yeah. I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing I was going to say. You talked about how you know people who are like your age that you went to school with or whatever who have just gotten like gray. 
It happens yeah. quick. Some uncle, guys, uncle. It's uncle. some guys really age like I mean, not even just guys. Some people age like milk after high school, and they really peak in high school. Like I remember a couple of years ago, I saw an old friend of mine at the Apple Store, and it had only been like four years since I'd seen him, and he was like <laughs> bald, fat. It was sad. It was really sad. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. here's what I want to say about this. When you're in a tough position, like I'll use me as an, an example, right? When I was like struggling and I saw that I could focus on the MLM stuff and make money, it's really easy to justify saying, oh, I'm going to temporarily focus on this. And then once I'm comfortable, I'll get back to that. And then wow. you end up getting a fancier apartment, which requires you continuing doing the thing that you said wow. was only temporary or a better car, or you get into a relationship where now you have two mouths to feed, or you yeah. get a girl pregnant where now you have three mouths to feed. And, yes. and eventually that thing that that temporary job that you said, I'm just going to take this until I'm, I'm going to set myself up. I'm just going to set myself up. I'm sure you've heard people say that. Yeah. And yeah. then I'm going to, and then I'm going to get back. They to, never come back. They never, and they come back never to come back to they it. Go do their dad's business. They're done. They go and get, some people get married. They're done. Suicide. It's suicide by a million different little concessions that you made with yourself. And you don't even, it's slow. It's very slow until one day. You don't even have the room for that dancing or that art or that music or that whatever the thing was that you started out because you spent so much time getting yourself set up that you you played yourself. You set yourself up in the other way. Like, yeah, yeah. You set it all I, up. You set I, yourself I, up as, as this fake person. You're not living what is in your heart. It's not oh, I'll get you. back to it, but I got to take this job right now. And oh, well, I got a girlfriend, so I got to keep doing this a bit longer. Oh, well, we're going to have a baby. Oh, well, we're going to move. Oh, well, well. And it's always like another concession you're making. Yeah. And then like, there's no shortcut. You, there's oh, I got to go to school for this because my parents want me to, but I'll get back to the da, 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 da. Wow. Oh, and then I got to, and then I got to get the job to pay off the student debt, but I'll get back to it. And then now we're 30 and then now we're 40 and then now we're 50. And the whole life goes. So tight, dude. It's so. And cool. I've I've felt myself. I've there's been moments where like my spidey sense has gone off when I'm in a relationship or when I'm sitting on the couch. There's been moments where my spidey sense has gone off, and I like that's so Raven see a future where I'm this fucking loser that never fulfilled oh. his passions, and I just yeah. got some girl pregnant, and it like scares me. Yeah. And um, yeah. What's that saying? You know, give a weak man. Uh, cheap entertainment, regular sex, and uh, enough money to pay his bills, and he'll throw his ambitions out the window. I've 100%. felt myself, I've felt myself becoming that guy at times, yeah. and I've, I've been mean to that. girls who are like just so in love with me, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, hey, you're gonna spoil me, baby. But I, I, I don't say you're gonna spoil me, baby. I should have said that you're gonna spoil me, baby. But at the time, I was just like, yo, get out of here, get a life, leave me alone, and then break up with them. But it's like, it's like, yeah, dude, they, uh, you. You get spoiled in life, man. I remember I was acting on this kid's TV show for five years. Everyone I know in acting does this. They book a big TV show. By the time they come out, it's like, what is – they're like – like they went to jail. It's like institutionalized. You know, like they come out of jail like, yeah. how do I work a thing? Like these guys are like, so how does a camera work? It's like, idiot, you just been pampered for five years. You got to stay in the game. Oh, my God. I'm talking to myself, dude. This has happened to me, but it happens to everyone, man. But you've Your seen it. You have, I'm sure you have friends who like – Oh, they were going to get into comedy, but, you know, they just had to continue being a lawyer. Oh, at because... least I'm here, baby. At least I'm here. There's nobody else, man. Nobody else. A everyone says it. They're like, man, I love that you do that. You have balls. I always want to do it. And I'm like, oh, you're going to think about that for the rest of your life. Just do it.